Hey guys, it's Pokemon here for MMOHut.com. Today I'm going to do a first impression gameplay video for Serenia Fantasy. It's a 2D browser based Japanese style MMORPG published by Corum Game. And I'll spend about 15 20 minutes or so checking the game out and, of course, making some comments. If you guys want to learn more about Serenia Fantasy, you guys can check down below at MMOHut.com for the full review slash game profile. So the game is definitely inspired by the old SNES kind of 16-bit era Final Fantasy Japanese style MMOR or RPGs rather that we've come to know and love from uh, old school times. So it, it has that kind of vibe and feel, and even the music itself has that definite uh, vibe from the 16-bit era. Uh, just really like you know Japanese kind of adventure style so we have three classes here the warrior the ranger and the mage as you can see they each have the male and female but no unfortunate customization options let me go ahead and go in the mage and I'm gonna go with the girl with the two ponytails we're gonna call her smoke Fia here and as you can see her she is into the dexterity and MP range or the magical power so let's go ahead and start my character here loading initializing connecting let's do this so Serenity Fantasy has uh, uh, been touted for detailed animations, an exclusive pet system, unique gameplay, and diverse combat. So we'll see exactly how that happens. Welcome to the world of Serenity. Please click to the village chief and start your journey. Alright. So this definitely has that sort of quest feeling where you kind of have the overworld and go and actually talk to it. And does that look like, whoa, I can actually zoom in. That looks like a chocobo. <laughs> like a knockoff chocobo. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk to the village chief. So I just click over here. And talk to the village chief here. Greetings. Get the reward. All right. Let's click to confirm the reward. This sound, this music is actually very catchy. I'm enjoying it a lot. Now I gotta see Gary. So I actually can click on his name, like you can in a lot of MMOs, and auto path right to him. The world itself is actually fairly detailed for a 2D MMO, and uh, I have to say that the graphics themselves are very fairly detailed for the, uh, you know, this is a 2D animation. And it looks like I'm level two now. As you can see, I can see my HP up to the top left. As well as MP and energy. This is stamina. So stamina system, I guess, is like how long you can kill uh, monsters before you have to actually rest. So I need to equip my gear so I can bring up I, bring up my inventory, and bring up my discipline staff. Oop! Come on. So I just can't double click it. Let's see here. I will probably have to bring up my character. So I can bring up C to bring up my character, and then put in my weapon. Come on, discipline staff. There we go. Smart. That's how it works. Good job, so I need level 10 to open that chest. It's kind of like a little bonus chest. Now I need to talk to her and get my reward here. And get some basic minor healing potions and magic potions. At least it just calls them healing potions and magic potions. Some games it calls them like something obscure. That doesn't actually make any lot of sense. I'm gonna load into this world. Puddling slime! Oh man. So this is this cute ver <laughs> this game's version of uh, cute chibi graphics. And I'm actually not clicking on any of these. It's actually automatically killing these. So, I don't know about the automatic combat, I do kind of like hitting skills, but then again, these are just auto attacks right now, so I don't even have any basic attacks to actually use right now. But while I was doing that, I can click to get my reward, which is Revival and Instant Healing Flask. Alright, so these, pu <laughs> these pud pudding slimes, rather, not puddling slimes, pudding slimes, remind me of the little guys from Ragnarok, the little pink gooses. Alright, and now I gotta seek out Guardians. So we go ahead and go up this way. That reminds me a little bit of Dragon Ball Combat, where basically it was all automated. I had to get level four off of that, so it went from two to four. Awesome. So usually when a game goes from two to four, like instantly, what it usually means is that I'm gonna go kill some baby boars now. <laughs> it doesn't usually mean you're gonna go kill some baby boars, but it usually means that uh, there's gonna be so many levels in the game that you actually get a lot of early levels, just for the simple fact that you're gonna have so many to go through later on in the game. Now this game does have PvP modes, so you need gameplay modes, and uh, so there are definitely some different things to do other than PvE in the game. And some of the boss modes themselves have uh, very large graphical uh, projectiles, so essentially it will take up a lot of the screen, not just like the singular line. And I need two more baby boars here. These baby boars are fat, I'm going to take them back to town and eat them. Alright, that's the last baby boar, so I'm going to go back. Oh. All right, we're done killing baby boars. All right, I'm done being a maniacal monster. Let's go ahead and go back here. So what else we got? We have spirit. What is spirit? A spirit is a special item to change a player into a monster. A player owns spirit to improve the character stats and transform appearances. Special skills can only be released through spirits. 
So, let's see here. Monsters in the game can be a player spirit. Players only need to double click specific hatch item to get them. Has failure rate. Each type of monster corresponds to kind of hatch. So you can actually get items in the game and uh, they will actually transform you into monsters that you fight, including boss monsters. I know there's a si similar system set up in Divina, which is actually not a browser game. Uh, but essentially in Divina you can actually have or transform yourself into a monster that you've fought. And when you do that, you get their abilities, etc. So you can actually kind of become them for a little bit. So go ahead and put that chest on myself. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't look like it actually changes my look. So I'm wondering if there's like certain cosmetic items that I actually need to do. Uh, I need to seek Shillin first, and then I'm gonna go get some Beeglo. So I wonder if there's a uh, certain uh, you know items or cosmetic essentially that you have to use to actually change your appearance. So I did just get some kind of uh, book rather. So I need to seek a bill here, April, and get the basic reward, which is some kind of skill book. All right, so I double click that to get a firebolt. Awesome. So let's go get some bee glue now. I need to get that bee glue. Why do we need to get blue bee glue? I don't know. I didn't read. But let's say we need the bee glue because we have a bear infestation. I don't know. That sounds like it's uh. All right, so there's firebolt. It actually has a level system. Which is very common to have in, in uh, typical uh, Eastern developed in Moses a level system for the abilities. And it also automatically uses my level 2 ability. So this has like an auto like grind system set up in place. There's just so many... Uh, oh, wasp nest! Kill it! Kill it! Oh, this wasp is like doing tons of damage. Alright. Die, wasp! I can't tell what's going on. This wasp isn't... Come on, worker wasp. Honey, give me that honey. All right, so I've got the honey, and I can go back to Garena's now. So it actually looks like here that as long as I stay in game, I will be able to get online rewards every few minutes, just as long as I actually stay in the game, though. So that's nice. And I'm already level seven. Wow, so quite good. And this music just reminds me so much of like playing a Game Boy Advance or just a Game Boy Color, and just kind of like the little music that actually it would come in the game. It's a little bit updated, not so much eight bit. But uh, I can see here I can buy military food. Why would I want to buy military food in the market? Okay, so let's buy some military food. I'll just buy one, and I bought the military food. Now I gotta seek Batu. Alright. So it looks like I even have a Z button for rest. <laughs> Which is pretty cool that they added like a hmm, like you're gonna sleep from the Z. It's pretty little cute. Then we got some little bunnies over there to kill as well. So this game is running currently in the browser. It's actually almost full screen, which is very nice. Sometimes the browsers, they kind of like condense it and it's only like half screen or something like that. But the music is very nice and common to listen to. These guys are killing very Ostriders that look a lot like Chocobos. Ostrider. Alright, I like that you can zoom in too, so you can actually see more of the combat. So I need wild fruit. He has to get more wild fruit from Alright. So I will collect some wild fruit. I can double click this to put this item. Double click the item to equip. There we go. Awesome. And I can use the honey to make alchemy potions. Nice. So I gotta go collect some wild fruit. Which apparently I guess are these uh, acorns. So these guys eat acorns here, which is awesome. I wonder if there's actually a system for turning off the auto combat. Oh, it's nice. You can even extend the shortcut bar, but I don't actually see anything to actually like disable it instantly here, which is a little unfortunate that everything is just automated. And then I usually like to, you know, click and kite, you know, monsters, etc. It may be a little difficult to do that in 2D MMOs, but I guess, you know, let's say you're playing this at school or something like that. You can always just have it set to uh, attack these guys and then kind of alt tab or go to a different tab and you're still progressing in the MMO. But uh, I still feel like it does take away something from it. So over here we have the social field, which is friend, flow, and blocked. We also have the crafting system where you can actually craft like the wizard hand. And to do that, I need a goblin stick, eight powder, and yellow powder. I don't have any of that, unfortunately. But I've done that. I'm already level eight. Now I need baby ostriders. All right, let's go kill some baby ostriders. Yeah, chocobo lookalikes. Take that. So I keep seeing this thing that actually pops up on my screen, so I'm going to look at that again next time. It had like a weapon craft, etc. So it said weapon craft 1. Come on, what, baby ostrich 3 or So I'm wondering if that actually like improves my skills. Let's go up to the skill here, which is actually S. So 15 mag points for one profession. How do I, can I, ah, so I actually can upgrade it manually by actually putting 30 mag points into it. But where are the mag points? I don't actually see any mag points that I have available. I don't see those like in the screen. Perhaps in my inventory. 
to figure out my inventory here. Do I see any mag points? Uh, tokens, coupons, and gold. Let's just try to upgrade it and see if it actually will upgrade. So I use mag points for that. Yep. Wow. And that did like literally nothing. So it looks like I did put 15 into it out of 300. So I need 300 to go to the next skill. That is like crazy far. And I am done now. Go ahead and pick up this and get my reward. Awesome. Alright, kill the baby bear. There we go. Alright, so now I need prune bears. So we're gonna go kill some prune bears. So these quests are very typical, you know, generic. Well, I, that bear, I took like half his HP instantly. So. I see that. I keep seeing the weapon craft thing, which is two. But I don't know if that's leveling up my ability to use these weapons better. Exactly what that means. Burr, Blessing, and Valor. Open at level 60. So you can see my experience here, my attack, my holy attack, and my titles if I have them as well. You can also show costumes and mounts. So if you actually get a mount, you'll be able to show that as well as you move around. It looks like there we have the ranger, and this is more of the, the melee class here. So it seems very easy you know, to level up in this game. And uh, there does seem to be a lot of level. The game currently is in uh, beta, I believe. Open beta. Which usually means that you know there won't be any more wipes, etc. Oh, I just need to go back. And the game essentially is in full release. In fact, we actually have uh, keys for open beta items, or beta packs rather. They can get on MLHut.com to actually like improve your thing. I believe there are some like bonuses, is uh, maybe even a mount if I recall correctly. And now I need to kill the Goblin Thief, which seems like he's a boss. Alright. And is it just me, or does that look like poop? That totally looks like poop. Alright, so here's the Goblin Thief now that we have to kill. Some boss monster, and I can zoom in to see epic battle of the goblin chief. He's kind of just hitting me here. I'm taking like no damage though. This guy's gonna go down so easy. Awesome. So I got the goblin stick, and now I can go back to hawking here. So I can click. The, I mean, what is that? Board droppings. It is board droppings. Look at that board dropping. Let's go back here to hawking. Why is he not in a wheelchair? Oh, that was a low blow. Alright, so all the materials are ready. Now I can open the crafting menu here. As you can see, it will open the bag. Oh, I can open my chest too if I wanted. And in the chest here, I get some mini teleport crystal, blue celebrating crystals, life source, and magic source. So uh, I guess once on the next level, they don't become just, you know, potions. They become life source. So I can go to this guy here, learn about level 10 skills, get the reward, and get another book. Alright, so let's go in the craft area now. And now I can actually craft my wizard stick. That's what she said. Or wizard wand, rather. Uh, stick sounds better than wand. Would you like to see my wizard wand? Alrighty here. So I've got the wizard wand. Yep. So I can double click this. And now I have a wizard wand. So it's now blue on the screen instead of red. That looks like a matchstick is what that looks like. Alright, go ahead and turn this back in. Weapon craft, get reward. Alrighty here. I've taught you how to manufacture weapons. I'll leave you to Claire. I now can make weapons, which is awesome. So I can uh, check that. Let's see here. I need to kill eight boars for that. And what's the other quest? Start of Adventures. Like, give me that. And this one here, Speak in World Channel. So I've got to sp actually speak in World Channel here. So World Channel, I believe, is this. And I have to speak and say, I'm speaking in World Channel. So good. All right, there it is. So I've spoken in World Channel, and I can get my reward for that, which is awesome. All right, you guys. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and call it there for now, though, seeing as I have to collect eight more boars, seek out Karos, and seek Collector here to finish out my skills. But if you guys want more about Serenia, Serenia Fantasy, you guys can check down below at mohut.com for the full review slash game profile where you can find out more about it and as well you can go to the giveaway section of mohut.com to see if we have any giveaway items left or giveaway uh, beta key items or sets rather for uh, Serenia Fantasy. So yeah, this will be see you guys. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Let's see, can I do a dance? Dance? No dance. Damn, no dance. Alright guys, I'll see you guys next time. Spunkify out!